Hi there. Um, this is a quick video for Adam, and uh, who's my brother, and Simone and Michael. Um, I really need your help. Um, I got put into a mental institute because I said that I'd found gold. Nobody believed me, nobody looked at anything that I'd done, none of my research work, and I've spent like that year and a half doing research. Um, no one listened. Put me in a mental institute. They tried to keep me in there for six months. Um, luckily, I got out. I just need to show you quickly what I got. Uh, this is called Silver Knight. It's uh, gold, silver, and a uh, tellurium. Like. So it's two o'clock in the morning. I am wankered. But um, I need uh, my brother to see this because uh, I'm worried that the government are going to try and put me back in a floppy mental institute. Um, because I found a little bit too much. Um, it's a very, it's, it's called silver, not a very rare s silver gold ore. Um, <laughs> it's just loaded. It just weighs a ton. It's ridiculous. Um, I could tell it's gold for loads of reasons, but in the shade, look, gold looks back here. And it says low. Hello. Um, well, cut to the chase. Uh, that's silver part. That's getting off a 24 carat. Oh, yeah, this looks at you. You can tell it's like a buttery yellow. It's fucking beautiful stuff. Yeah. A bit of that fella. Oh, crap, I want to get a proper video recorder. Um. Sorry about you. Right. Oh, I hope you can see that. Um, so, shine straight at you. Now then, I'm not sure. I think that's gold, but it's not pure gold. It's gold with sulfur still. Sulfur hasn't come out of it. Um, my deposit probably wasn't oxidised enough for it to be pure metal. Now, the difference. This is a uh, copper pyrites, I think, and it doesn't it's, it doesn't shine back at you like the other stuff. And if I mark it on a tile, I don't like doing this because it's nice. What you'll see is it just leaves it. <laughs> Shit, that left a silver mark. That's not supposed to happen. Um. <laughs> Uh, left a gold mark for them. Okay. Half of it's chalker prop. I know that for a fact. I just want to prove it's a cup of pyrites. Hang on, look. But the underside of it, it's got gold. Um, and with the gold, if I uh, there's bits of gold on there. Look, I don't know if you can see these stupid dirty lines, but yeah, I'll keep that. There's some gold specks on there. Um, right to prove that lot is gold, what I've done is put it in hydrochloric acid, mm -hmm. and. Uh, this is ridiculous, it's so ever. And uh, it didn't, doesn't dissolve. Can't get rid of the black shell on it now. Hmm. Um, right, if you have a look on, I can't look for the bloody screen and have a look at it at the same time. Right, if you look down here, See it's silver, it's a noble metal, it doesn't dissolve in acid. And here, there should be some gold around there somewhere. It catches a lot. Now none of that's gone. If that was false gold, that fella would have dissolved, would have ent. So I'll have pieces in there. So that proves to me it's gold, it's just been in acid, hydrochloric acid. And uh, it's just you know, 
It's not dissolved at all. Shit. The biggest problem I've got at the minute is finding gold everywhere on the floor and on the bloody uh, on the work surface. Check me back in, playing a lighter. Right, okay. I know, I forget a bit of that silver stuff on here. Fucking scratch that and you can see it. By the way, this video is just between us, it's not for anybody else because I look at an idiot. I look like fucking 50 years old. Oh, oh I'm just trying to get a cool case and I'm knackered. Oh, okay. That'll do, mate. Oh, fuck, I just took. I can drop gold on the floor. If you can't see that, so that grey stuff's just gone to gold on there. This, like this, is. Um, Chalk products, copper pyrites, it's not. But on that is gold, I promise you. There's a few specks of gold on there, look. And you can tell with the weight of it. See how that's green there and dull and brassy? That's, that's copper. The bit there reflecting back on the end, that's gold. Right. Okay. Another way I know it's gold is because I took one of them, and with gold, it's supposed to be malleable. So what I did was I smashed it with an hammer, and it wasn't. <laughs> but I put it in hydrochloric acid anyway, and it's not malleable because it's mixed with tellurium, so it makes it very brittle, but when it breaks, it just breaks into dust. Uh, I've got a torch somewhere. Sorry about my language. Was... Um, oh, man. I had some torches. If I shine the torch in there, all that shines straight back at you. But a lot of that's gold dust, a lot of it's the shell off the uh, off the nodule. I'm going to come back to that stuff in a minute, it's horrible. I know it'll prove somewhere. But, let's have a look a bit closer at these. Okay, so. Now, if we say that this piece here, this, this piece here, similar to one on the internet, two grand. No hassle, two grand. So if that's two grand, well, that's worth a fortune. That's worth a fortune. Look ridiculous. And then I got into some bigger stuff, look. I can't even lift it. No, it's got because it's fucking heavy. Bastard. Right then. <laughs> My hands don't usually wobble. Right, now, how about that fella? That's got to be topping off 20 grand on its own, to be fair. It's absolutely full. If I smash that open, I guarantee you that that thing is chock rammed full gold. F promise you. Oh, fuck, I'm just destroying everything. Look at this. Thousands of pounds worth of stuff, and I can't even look after it. But I ain't got time in this cool case. Now, nah, I'll come back to them. Um, let me get bigger. And I know for a fact, with the weight of these, right, I'm seeing that gold in the end there. Yeah, you little beauty. I know for a fact that's a chocker. I can't even get it one handed, I don't think. <laughs> when it's that heavy, you know for a fact that ain't normal. Gold's 19 grams per cubic centimetre, water's 1. It's 19 times heavier than water, right. Now then, so imagine that's two grand, this little bit here. And I get bigger and bigger, and I got that bit as well. And then, if I've got this, this is stoked. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, fuck. Um, here, kiddo. Here, Simone Michael. Look at that fella. So, um, Simone Michael, you don't get this in, in the, it's, it's in, found in two places in England, that is all, and they're only small deposits, but I can promise you that where I am, in the places that I know, there's just loads of it, absolutely tons of it, and the thing is, there's that much of it, I think the government now, 
But if it's left there and nobody finds it, then it's safe, isn't it? Um, the problem is, I think something like this could actually affect the bloody gold. Gold market, the prices of gold. Oh, look. I'll keep them round. I watched Gold Rush on the telly the other day and uh, I only had a, f a little tiny bit after three months. I spent 250 grand investment and uh, I didn't make the money back. No, I was just walking, walking different places picking the bloody stuff up. But I've got a bit of a secret because there's like a fossil that the Bronze Age people used to look at. And when the Bronze Age people um, found this fossil, they knew that there's cavities in the rock, and if the other elements are there, then there's likely to be deposits of gold. And the group of fossils are, um, oh God, what are they fucking called? Zooplankton. And they grow very, to various different sizes, but it's a, it's a different kettle of fish, that is. But um, it's what I do now. Because, <clears throat> I've got that one, big one's chucker. And then I'll come on to these fellas. Torch. Right. This one. Um, the gold gets weathered away from the outside really, really quick because of its properties, it's very soft. But this is brittle and it just falls to dust. But if you get any pure gold, it's that malleable, just gets torn off the rock really quick. Now, forms in um, tablets sometimes. Um, and I, oh, there's different ways I can tell if a rock's got it in or not. And this one here, yeah, it's very rammed. Can weighs a ton. What a smashing for it. Um, and then we got. I could go stupid things like this. They're absolutely huge and absolutely chocker full. Whole thing's just made of gold, silver and tellurium. And then... <laughs> Killed me, this bastard did. Look at that fella. So... I oh, know I ain't got to work again. Ever. The problem is, I don't think the government <laughs> want my little secret to come out. Uh, I really bloody well don't. They put me in the mental institute and I had to fight to get myself out. And that, um, they wanted to keep me in. They didn't want me to come back out. And it was as if the government was teaching me a lesson. So, I'm really, really nervous. I had a phone call from the, the hospital the other day, yesterday, asking some stupid questions. You know, this is what I've just found. Um... Asking me some questions that I did, they didn't need to ask. And it's like the preempting, trying to bloody get me back into hospital. And I don't, I, I'm not mad. I have found shit loads of gold. Mm. <laughs> Happy days. But uh, it's a shame a certain person couldn't be with me. And uh, I waited. Can't wait a fucking ever up. Hey, I need help. I fucking do all this on my own. Mm. Mm. That's half a little bit heavy. Look. I love gold. They're fucking great stuff, ain't you, Goddy? Believe you me, this took a year and a half for research work. This says I didn't find this out overnight, or didn't find it by accident. I found a fifth century church. I've had stolen. Oh, fucking look at this stuff. Um, I know what you are, so I ain't gonna rub you on the tile. I don't wanna damage you. There's fucking bits everywhere. Look at that. Silver. Oh. I forgot what I was saying, I'm not knackered. Um, 
Yeah, so I found this church, and then I studied the history of the church, and then uh, a trade route came up, found a trade route, and then I applied biology, the science of biology to archaeology, and the science of systems, and then I modelled energy through different systems about how people live, what the jobs were, um, and I looked at historical facts about Rome running out of zinc in 100 BC. And I, I, I've just turned up a new trade route, and uh, uh, the trade route's got a secret. It's got one hell of a secret, and the Knights of Templar don't want the secret to come out, which is why the Freemasons have also been shafting me. So I ain't had much luck. Um, I've got the judge, the police, the government, everybody trying to stop me from letting people know what my secret is. Now, I've got another one of these somewhere and I can't find the bloody thing. But, I had, had you told me, uh, oh, they're just stones. They're not. The, con the concretions, the nodules, I found these somewhere else. But I've put these in acid before and I'm getting this telluride gold coming out, this gold dust, these fine gold particles. I don't know what that is, it might be chalcoprite, it might be iron pyrite, I haven't got a clue. But here's one I've stuck in before. And uh, where where it's been pyrite is in there, it's gone rusty coloured, this is cleaned off now. This has been in acid for a couple of weeks. Uh, but it, this is like pure mud in the middle. And uh, this dissolves quite quick. But the uh, the gold seems to stay there anyway, it's all right. So I think it is gold. Um, now then, this is where it gets complicated because I found several different deposits of gold. This is um, polymorphic from a polymorphic vein, so it's um, magmatic. I hope it's magmatic, I feel like an idiot if you think. Um, this though is, I think, telluride gold that has. Um, that's come out of the rock, gone into the streams, rivers, and then ended up in these nodules, direct. There's not a, not a big path between some of them, um, which is why they get so full of just this telluride metal. Um, now, so this is this is an oxidised deposit. So that means that the um, that, that means that the the sulphur's come off. It was it's, uh, it's com combined with oxygen and gone. What I've had to do is I found another deposit. It's full of gold, but it's got all the nasties in it. It's got all the arsenic, full of sulphur. All the golds combined with sulphur, arsenic, you name it. Uh, <laughs> it's dangerous shit. So I set fire to a load, and uh, uh, that's where I think red ochre comes from. What they, um, they paint the Bronze Age people with the red. And it was because they were just dealing with this stuff that much, roasting it, extracting the gold, and I tell you what, mate. At one point, certain places in England, uh, I think, supplied most of the world with gold, and it wasn't Wales. So that's dirty. That's nasty. But it's still got a lot of gold in it. I promise you that. Um, <clears throat> um, so what I did was ground some of that down. That's a piece of that in hydrochloric acid. But get blue formed, and I think that might be, if I can soon find out, I think it might turn to silver chloride. That's what I'm hoping anyway. There's gold on that now. Making kitchen experiments. Right, what can I do Sound like an alcohol. In fact. So it's been an acid, well that acid's hydrochloric acid, and I think the chloride out of the acid mixes with the uh, with the silver to make like a silver chloride, I'm not sure, I'm not talking complete bollocks, um, but I put some in earlier and it meant a different colour, I uh, wonder what it does in there, I fucking don't know, I'll put 
we're not uh, experimenting off the youth, is it? Not being a can't do it in a nut house. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, there's a little nugget in there. A little silver one, bless it. But it's uh it falls apart really easy. So a friend looked at it and picked the nose off it. Right. So we've got these nodules as well. I know in this nodule it's gold. You can see how it's full it's, it's pressed together, the tiny grains have just with some pressure that they've formed this like plate inside. That's been nodulochloric acid. I took it out because the mud was uh, dissolving at a rapid rate. Um because everyone doubted me, no one believed me. I uh, I went and scraped the edge of that on the bloody tile to uh, to prove if it was gold or not. And, yeah, it was gold. <laughs> it destroyed what I had. Dick. Um, right. I'll tell you what else I got. These nodules had. Ah, oh, let's go back to this arsenic stuff. So what I did was I ground some powder down and I dropped it in the uh, well, made a fire. Mixed it with charcoal. So first of all, I oxidised it. Did I reduce it? Oxidised or reduced it, and then I reduced it or oxidised it. Uh, adding charcoal at different times, that sort of stuff. And uh, that my handsome in the corner over there, look, just look fine gold and copper mixed. Uh, so I know there's definitely gold in there. You can tell by the weight as well. Now, I think. That stuff's probably worth a better pound a gram. I want to torch on. Right, that stuff's a pound a gram. Got loads of that stuff outside. Pissing on it. No stones lay anywhere. See, so, look, I've got loads of. Uh, yeah. That's well, not just lying about. So, this is the arsenic stuff. Oh, fuck, you can't see it in the dark. I think there's about, I don't know, I think, I think there's about a ton in weight, uh, 1,000 kilograms, and that's worth one pound, English pound, per one gram, at uh, minimum, maybe maybe more. So that's about 500 grams worth, I think, if I've done my maths right. So, I might have a few million sat in my house, 500 grand sat outside and I've got a few million to get in a few nights in a very short space of time So it's gonna be interesting shit, but I uh, I've got a court case today I've got to fight to get this church back I had the church stolen off me and the church is a secret that to religion it unlocks everything and I don't want me to to uh, to, to tell you about it um, Found this in top on top of the fifth on top of the well, sixth century church, five hundred AD. Found this on the top wall, and it's hand carved, and it's got a knight's name called Lisk. I've looked it up, I've researched it. It was a group of knights that lived in a certain place, um, and they were called they were, they were called Lisk, and Lisk means uh, justice. And what they had, um, they were knights Templar. They found something, and they were called Lisk because they sort of said to the church, well, if you want what we've got, you come and get it, and you'll receive your punishment. And there's justice is a place where you go to receive your punishment. And these groups of knights suddenly disappeared <laughs> uh, on Friday the 13th, and the rest of the Templars were killed, and disappeared from, from where I am, to, uh, and they magically appeared in Scotland, and what's interesting is their shield, their their, their shield has, has got diamonds on it. Um, and this this is made of diamonds. And I thought it was a wax template to make a sand mould. To cast something like just a copper plate for the front of a shield. Or, I don't know, I might be talking complete bollocks. But I can't think of what else it can be. Because slate splits really easy. So you wouldn't do a whole massive template. You just do templates in sections. If you knackered a piece, then you uh, get you just have to replace that bit. And the only thing that would be practicable for is making a, a mould or cast. Um, where am I going? It's hard. Oh, knackered. I'm dying. Right. Now, I've made gold. Is yeah. Happy days, innit? Um, 
and you're not going to understand me, but I'm actually a scientist. I could put this past because I'm a scientist. Yeah. Um, full bag now. Uh, it's going to be too long a video, right? Because I'm a scientist, I'm interested in um, things like I don't know the nodules, how they're made, how they're formed. This is like um, um, hematite. Um, with these nodules, they usually develop around something that was living. That living thing rots out and then it leaves a cavity, but that cavity leaves a perfect impression of what the living thing was, except sometimes they're a bit squashed. You find heads, they're a bit squashed. Uh, you find feet, heads, what else do I find? Feet and heads usually. Um, and hip bones, I've got one of them somewhere. Now, I sound stupid, but to me that's more of a, like a horse's hoof, so it's one of the nodules. Um, I don't know, but I need, I need help. I need somebody who knows what they're doing. That's just a normal one. Um, I can't. Come on, Stuart. Get to bed. Here's uh, another one of these Bronze Age fossil things that um, I'm sure they used to use to determine what rocks had minerals and what didn't. That's that's in depth. <laughs> that's that's a lot of study work. That is, and a lot of new findings. Uh, coming from Birmingham, <laughs> nobody's gonna listen to me, are they? Especially looking like a gypsy. <laughs> right. Now then, lad. This is a fossil. I think. There's two. I think that's a lateral line. Looks like a fish's body. I might be talking bollocks. It might be part of a uh, sponge, plant, whatever. But this is a nodule. Except this is made of uh, mud. This is pure mud. Uh, if it gets wet, it starts to knacker up. This is where I drop it and really knacker it up. But it's like a, a flint nodule. Now, <laughs> I've got loads of stuff to show you, mate, but it's I've got that much, it's ridiculous. But what I'll try and do is, I'm gonna take my time, look a lot better, get myself sorted, make a proper video, and then, if I can let the old world have a look. Now, you said I was wrong on this one, but you never got to look at it properly. Now I reckon this is a fossil cast of a fiddler crab. Actually, I think it might actually be the real crab that's fossilized. Now, the problem I had was I stuck it in acid, so that's how I got it, uh, got it out, and then I didn't realise that the acid carried on afterwards, but even when you take it out, you know, really rinse it off and neutralise it. Things are dirty, it's playing me rocks at 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, so yeah, I think this fellow's a fiddler crab, my answer. Fucking don't show anybody this video, for fuck's sake. Um, God. Yeah, enough. But to be fair, son, you're going to have to come and see it yourself. You can see why I think it's a fiddle crap. See, the one arm's long, and the other one's short. I guarantee you, I had that perfect, perfect flopping claws on. Uh, but it has been beating around the, uh, beating around the bush. No joke about that. <laughs> um,. Oh, you're going to think I'm all right, no, but I can't. You've also got stuff like this. Now, this is a nodule. It's a hell of a nodule. Oh, where's my nice stuff? I've got some nice stuff, mate. It's all upstairs. I just want to show you quick what I've got. This is an ironstone nodule. Now, I'm sure because it's patterning so perfect, so symmetrical, and that I've seen in the Red Sea sponges just like that. I think that's a fossil cast of a sponge or something like that. I haven't got a clue. But it's too... It's too uniformly shaped to be uh, anything else but biologically made for me. But who fucking knows, I'm a nutcase. Right, Manson, I hope that uh, answers your questions. 
I hope you get your skinny little ass then to come stay with your brother. And then you can tell me what the fuck I do with a few million quid's worth of rock. Uh, when no one believes you. If, it's, if I was from Oxford, then one would, you know, listen to everything that I say and, you know, take on board and how fanti fantastic a new discovery this is. Because I'm fucking Birmingham and I got my uh, degree from Wolverhampton, Wolverhampton University. I lock it up. <laughs> Good job uh, Darwin weren't from uh, Warsaw. Would have been fucked. They'd have drowned him. <laughs> It's the first time I've laughed in a while. Right, okay, Shaggy. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to bed. Uh, I'll send you this over. Have a look. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, Simone, Michael, oh, please don't show this to anybody. I'm, I'm so bloody embarrassed. Uh, and I love you loads, okay? Um, I'll we'll do a decent video um, soon enough. Love you both. Um, take care, bye, bye, bye.